What's going on guys? So today I have another knife trade to share with everyone. Uh, although you won't notice any knives on the table. My side of the trade of course was a very beautiful knife plus a couple extra knives as little bonus gifts. Um, but uh, you guys saw my recent video I showed you some silver and I am very much collecting silver and trying to collect some gold although it's quite expensive in comparison. But I never stopped you know collecting brass and lead. And so that's what this video is showing, some, some brass and lead and accessories. Um, so uh, first we have a note here. Let's go ahead and read it. It says, Jeff, thank you for doing this trade. Just want to say, uh, on top of being a big fan of your content, I also admire and respect you as a person. Uh, believe it or not, some of the toughest times I've gone through, uh, I've always had your videos to occupy my mind and help me just relax. Keep on doing your thing and don't ever change. I hope this package finds you well. Happy holidays to you and Christina. Uh, and I included some playing cards for her. Thank you. P.S. Light up the sky with those tracers. And this is from Brian. And there is Brian's Instagram account. Uh, Bad Mood Brian. So yeah, I uh, worked out a trade with Brian for some brass and some lead here and some accessories. So as I've mentioned before, YouTube has uh, of course changed their regulations. It's made it very, very difficult to share things that are extra fun. Um, so, you know, I wouldn't want to threaten anyone with a good time. Uh, so, you know, I try my best to follow the rules here and uh, you know, there's a lot of restrictions and it's really, really unfortunate. It's just the way it is, things change. And uh, I'm just really hoping deep down inside that things change again for the better. We'll see, it might take new management eventually. But anyway, long story short, um, you know, my gun content has gone completely away, pretty much. I mean, occasionally I'll maybe mention it or, or show something in my EDC or something like that. Um, but I just don't have the capability of making those same videos like I used to. I hope in the future that will change. But I did want to mention that I still very much trade for gun stuff. I very much am still uh, obtaining new firearms. I very much still shoot. In fact, uh, most of the nine will get shot. Um, this is a little box of some uh, green tip, some 5.56, which will not get shot, that will get stored. Um, these, one of these will get shot, and one will get stored. I've actually, I haven't seen these before. This is uh, Fort Scott uh, Munitions. It's 115 grain, looks like full metal jacket, conical copper rounds. Really interesting. So these are like pointy. It looks like solid copper. I'm not sure if it's lead free, but that's an, that's an interesting nine millimeter. So I'll definitely shoot some of these, see how those uh, cycle. I'm sure there won't be any problems or anything. And I'll save one. Um, I got a box of nine here as well from Remington. It's 115 grain, box of 50. Got some of the prices on here are, <laughs> I guess is 11.99 which it should be for a box of 50, 10 bucks. This was 13 bucks for this Winchester white box. Uh, there's another Remington, this was 10 bucks. Man, this person, uh, they stocked up when they should have. And that's what he had mentioned. You know, he stocked up way before prices got crazy. Then I have some, uh, some more 5.56, five, couple of boxes off to the side here. Um, then, uh, you know, half of the trade was really for ammo. The other half of the trade was for these Glock 43 mags. And they have the Hive base plates. Uh, these three, I believe are plus two. Oh, no, I'm sorry. These three, the black, blue, and greenish um, color there. I don't know what you'd call that. Mossy green, maybe? I don't know. But these are plus two, and then this is a plus one, I believe, with the silver. Um, and then he also hooked up Christina with a deck of cards. I know she doesn't have this because she's not particularly, you know, a huge fan of mermaids or anything. But it's kind of cool. It's cool to have a, a deck of cards that, you know, I, I know she doesn't have. Um, but she definitely uh, appreciates it. So I showed this to her already uh, before I started the, the video and she didn't want me to say thank you. Um, but yeah, so Super Mermaid fan playing cards. And he hooked it up with some decals. I actually really like decals. All right, so these, these all go in the, the gun safes and whatnot. Uh, Mission Barbecue, the American way. Big fan of barbecue. We have Gem Tech uh, for, you know, their silencers. I wish I can get a silencer or a suppressor um, sometime in the future, it hasn't been a huge priority for me. At some point, I really wanted one. I just didn't have the money. You know, you had to pay for the tax stamp, 200 bucks, even a cheap suppressor or silencer, uh, you know, four or 500 bucks, you know, so you're, in, you're into it for at least seven, you know, kind of starting. And then if you want to go up from there, it, it obviously goes up from there. 
Um, but obviously a lot of time as well to get that tax stamp back. So that's always been on the back burner, but I really, really wanted just a 22 suppressor eventually for my, uh, my Walther. Then we have a uh, HK sticker, which is very cool. And of course the American flag sticker, which is always really cool. And that's the theme here. It's just something that's part of many Americans' lives, but not all Americans. So it's something I always want to make clear. Because you'll see comments like, oh, Americans and their guns. Trust me, there's lots of Americans that don't like them. They don't have them. They have no interest in them. They'd love to see them all go away tomorrow. But it's just not possible. And because of that, I'm into it. And I want as many as possible. So anyway, <laughs> that's it for now. Just wanted to mention, still very much, you know, shooting, very much collecting, and very much enjoying the, uh, the firearm hobby. Um, but a lot of it's behind closed doors. You guys just don't get to see it, unfortunately. But who knows? Maybe in the future, I'll be able to show more of it. You never know what's going to happen. And actually, before I go, I didn't even mention it because in the, the letter he had said, uh, you know, enjoy the tracers. That was one of the things I was most interested in. He had uh, hooked me up with uh, 80 rounds of these American Eagle tracers, which have that little, whatever it is, red phosphorus. So when you shoot them, you can shoot them in low light or at, you know, uh, you know totally black situation at night. And you'll be able to follow, you know, where that round goes. So it's going to be really fun. Um, I'll probably end up shooting those with my dad. So it'll be a very much a, a father-son American bonding moment. Um, and I'll probably share that on Instagram. Unfortunately, I can't share it here. I'd love to. It's just one of those things. It's just hard to keep up with the rules, you know. But if you uh, do follow me on Instagram, you'll see that video eventually. So that's it for now. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.